we have this awesome loft space in our home. It's a great size, a really cozy hangout spot, but I've actually never decorated it according to my current style. And although the stuff that we have in there is working perfectly fine, and we've been really grateful to just take what we had in our previous home and stick it in this loft, I felt like I could do a little bit better to elevate it and make it more my style. So here is our cute and cozy loft space. So many of you have asked why minimalists tend to have white walls, that it's sterile, it's cold, it's stark. The truth is having a paint, a two-tone paint with a new build, which is what we did, was a huge upgrade in expense. So that's why we have white walls. Our other home came with two-toned paint, so white furniture up against that was not as stark, but that's what we're working with now. I actually love the white walls. I think it feels very clean. This is the first project I'm going to tackle. Our doggy chewed this entertainment center. It is still a beautiful piece of furniture. There's no way I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I also love this coffee table. This is something I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I also have this little home sign that I've had for years and years, and I'm trying to get rid of all the wording in the home. It's just a personal preference. For me, it feels a little bit cluttered, but that's just something that I'm gonna be doing. So I have these um, little doggies <laughs> who've been so hard on the carpet, but I am gonna hopefully find a rug to put in this space just again to bring it some more life. I am really excited to be adding Wayne's coating to this large wall here, but I don't think that project is gonna happen for a while. So I'm gonna go forward with this video. Here's another sign that I have up on Facebook Marketplace currently. Again, just the wording, the visual clutter. This cute little blanket ladder I've had forever. It was in our last home. I think it's darling. I have this leftover navy blue paint from when we painted the piano. I am going to paint this, but I need your help. Would it be cute to leave the drawers white? I'm almost done taping out the panes and I just got this idea. <laughs> I do not know if it would be cute or not, but the good thing is, is I can paint the rest of it and then live with it for a couple days and see if I like the little panes and the drawers left. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna wanna paint these drawers. I think, uh, I know I'm gonna need two coats. I was really hoping to just need one, but let's paint the drawers. But I mean, let me know in the comments if you would leave it. I think it'd be cute for like a little girl's bedroom or a little boy's bedroom, but mm, no. <laughs> the first coat is almost done and let's be honest this looks horrendous I'm honestly hoping that the second coat is just what's gonna do it and make it look beautiful I don't remember my piano looking this rough um, coat one and I think the other hard thing about this is it was white and so to get it really dark is gonna be kind of a challenge, but this isn't even the first time I've painted this. I painted it, it was originally like an off-white color. I painted it white in our old house, and yeah, it's it's been through a few coats, but it's looking really rough. <laughs> like I said, I'm hoping that the next coat will bring it all together and it will be really beautiful because there is no going back. Okay. As you can see, I haven't done the little legs yet. I think I'm gonna have to slide something underneath there. I have had two people in my family tell me they hate it. They hate it. Um, it does look a little shocking, but that's what this room needs is some life. So that's done. Now I just need to spray paint the knobs. The hardware is currently black but I'm thinking if I find some really beautiful metallic gold spray paint, it will bring everything together. My husband just pointed out that I am using the wrong can of paint. Guys, this is why you should declutter what you don't like. We have two cans that are very similar. This one is just a little bit richer and it's just prettier. So now that this one's all painted the wrong color, I'm gonna go back over with Bears, very navy, just a little deeper and so much better. Mm -hmm. 
now that I have the right paint color, I love it. I think the gold up against the navy is absolutely beautiful. The hard thing is, as I'm noticing that any little chip shows right through the white. As you can see right here, I need to scrape some of the paint off of the glass, but I just kept the decor up here super simple. I already have this candle. I already had these books. I found this darling little faux fiddle leaf tree on Marketplace, but it's only three feet. So to kind of elevate this, make it a little bit taller for free, I took the little pot that it came with and I just flipped it over and that gave it way more height. So that is a really nice hack. My kids <laughs> set this thing on top of the Xbox. That is obviously not permanent, <laughs> but I thought this was cute. A really cute way to elevate the space, bring it live for only 20 bucks. Another thing I found on Facebook Marketplace was this rug. Now this rug, she said, came from Costco and it's an eight by 10, but it's in perfect condition and she sold the rug to me for $30. I splurged a little bit on these gold rods from Target and then just to add a little bit of texture to this space, I popped some sheer curtains up. They were from Home Goods. This little corner I felt like I could do a lot with. We just had this little tiny, not even the right size bookcase. And then of course, here's our amazing gray sign. I grabbed a basket and a blanket again from Home Goods. I love having baskets around. I think they are absolutely beautiful. That warmth and texture really elevates a space for so inexpensive. Then I swapped out the art here. This is larger, beautiful. This just came from Hobby Lobby. I adore this coffee table. I originally bought it off a of Facebook marketplace for $30. It is so sturdy, but it is in rough shape. I need your help. I'm not exactly sure how to restore this because the top of this coffee table is, I don't even know what they've done. It's a gray and white. It is so pretty. I have no clue how to touch this up. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just sand it down, paint the whole thing white? I don't know what to do, but I did contemplate selling this and replacing it and I just couldn't do it because the size is perfect. I love the style. I just, I need your help. How do I elevate this and restore it? Again, here's another look at the before. I absolutely love debating throw pillows with you guys. So many of you say they are just a nuisance. They are so much trouble. I think they are absolutely worth it. I had these throw pillow covers in my basement already, these kind of burnt burgundy ones. And then I love having white. Some of you might think I'm crazy with kids and pets, but it's perfect because I can just bleach them. I totaled this up by the time I had sold some of my furniture and then bought things off of Facebook marketplace was really mindful shop sales. I was able to do this room makeover for just about $100, which I feel really, really good about. Now, granted, I haven't done the Wayne's coating yet, which will definitely add an additional price. But the real question is, what do you think about this transformation here? This is the one I was the most nervous about. This is the one my family told me they hated, but I feel like once I got the color right, I'm feeling a lot better. Please let me know if you'd like to see the room fully updated once I get the Wayne's coating on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.